Hi, everyone. Welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training. My name is Mike Riley, the founder and editor of Journalist Toolbox. Today, we're going to work with a tool called Notebook LM. It's created by Google. Um, it allows you to upload PDFs and uh, slides, YouTube videos, whatever you want. Uh, and uh, it'll convert it into things like FAQs, summaries, uh, and the really cool feature I like with it is the podcast feature, uh, where uh, I have you know a lot of my students at UIC take their uh, midterm papers or their stories and load them in there. It creates a short uh, podcast off of it, um, off of the text, which is really cool. Um, and I use it sometimes in my newsletters for uh, uh, the journalist toolbox. Uh, I upload my text from my newsletter that I'm about to publish creates a short uh, podcast, and then I link the podcast off the top of the newsletter. Um, so a lot of versatility with this tool. It's very simple to use. Uh, you just hit Try Notebook LM, log in with your regular Google credentials. There is a Notebook LM Plus that's coming uh, that offers a few extra features here. Um, I'm currently a, uh, a, a signed up as a beta tester for that. I haven't gotten access to it yet. Uh, but hopefully soon. Um, so uh, I just wanted you to know that that's available. We're just going to work with the basic notebook LM that's free to anybody with a Gmail account. Um, so all you have to do is click to try notebook LM uh, and it'll save uh, all your past ones. I call them notebooks uh, and you can create a new one here. Uh, very simple to use. You hit create new uh, and then you upload your documents. You can bring them in from Google Drive off your desktop, drag and drop. Uh, you can bring them in off of a website, um, uh, cut and paste the text in, anything you want. Um, so I'm just going to take uh, something. It does take a little while for these to, uh, uh, to kick in. Uh, so uh, I'll drag this opinion piece. This is an opinion piece one of my students wrote, and I dragged it in as a PDF. Uh, and then it gives you this basic workspace here. Um, and uh, it pulls in, you know, the little, uh, you know, uh, text here so you can see it uh, add note uh, do you want a briefing document uh, do you want to create an audio overview with it um, uh, a deep dive conversation and you can select how many hosts you want um, I always have two hosts uh, it's kind of like a talk show talking about the content of the paper um, you can create timelines with them uh, which is really cool study guides some of my students have used it uh, off of lecture notes and things like that to create little Study guys, the FAQ is really cool too. Uh, and in the interest of time, because a podcast does take a little time uh, to generate up here in the upper right, um, I'll hit the FAQ button uh, and let it generate here. Um, and uh, you can also ask questions of it. So you can type in uh, prompts down here and things like that. I'll show you a couple of examples while it's generating the FAQ. Uh, and uh, then we'll uh, uh, get started. Uh, with uh, uh, looking at how some uh, some of the materials work. Um, so um, I'll just go ahead and do the audio overview. I went ahead and hit generate on that. Um, so I've got my FAQ right here. It actually generated it pretty quickly. Um, so it did some frequently asked questions. It usually gives you around seven or eight things uh, with some bullet points under it. Um, the paper, you know, is probably about 3,000 words. So this, you know, pulls out some of the highlights and just kind of puts it in bullet point version uh, for the reader if they want to read it quickly. Um, we also will create these really nice little summaries. So I'm uh, kind of letting the uh, uh, studio uh, percolate here with the audio. Uh, and then I'll show you a couple of examples here of how it works. Um, here's a story uh, that one of my students did for the Redline project at UIC. Um, it was a story on uh, speed cameras uh, and uh, how the ticketing has kind of been uneven in some of the neighborhoods in Chicago. Uh, it, uh, speed cameras do a lot more tickets in some areas than others. Um, it also shows, you know, this little uh, data wrapper bar chart that the student created. This wasn't created with AI. Um, little uh, bar chart, you know, shows kind of the, the amount of revenue that's coming into the city from these speed cameras. Very controversial topic in the city. We pulled the data from the city of Chicago data portal. The Illinois Policy Institute has a lot of data as well. Um, and then she tells us here, you know, well, how she used AI in the story. Uh, the FAQ was generated by Notebook LM. If you scroll down to the bottom, she's mid-journey for some images here. Uh, Steve, I think it was, Steve.ai for some video. And here's her FAQ that she just attached to the bottom uh, of the story. Um, it's a relatively short story, uh, so the, the FAQ was was much uh, tighter uh, than uh, you know one if it was a longer piece. Um, here's another one. This is a student uh, that uh, wrote an opinion piece 
uh, for our midterm projects. Uh, it was about copyright and, and uh, uh, ethics uh, in, as far as AI and journalism are concerned. Um, you know, again, she's got her AI disclosure here telling us how she used chat GPT and summarize wise to write a little summary up here since it was a longer story. Uh, and then the podcast uh, and FAQ were generated with Notebook LM, which she points out here. Uh, the FAQ is down here uh, at the bottom. Um, she kind of highlighted these uh, uh, so you can really get the full uh, impact uh, of, uh, you know, uh, of what she's talking about. Um, and then uh, the podcast is right here. So I'll go ahead and play a little bit of it. It's downloadable, uh, so you can host it elsewhere. Um, you can also, uh, you know, run it just in, in their player. Uh, it has a nice little share link here. All it's right. It's not Welcome embeddable to your yet. your personalized deep dive. So you send us this, like, super interesting midterm paper assignment. <laughs> and get this, the student's actual paper. Oh. Okay, so the, she had a, this labeled as a midterm paper. This is why it's not, you know, an opinion article. Uh, if I would have cut and pasted the link to the or article in there, they would have framed it a little bit differently. So wow. yeah. right. it's all about AI and journalism, which we know you're totally into. So we're going to like dive into some of the legal stuff and copyright issues the student dug into. That's it's very conversational. And these are AI hosts. These are not real people. They're uh, generated, uh, you know, uh, off of voice mimicking software and, and used as uh, as hosts uh, for discussing this, uh, this topic. Um, all based off of uh, the information uh, that, that that we loaded into Notebook LM. Uh, I've seen these podcasts generate anywhere from 11 to 15 minutes of uh, uh, length of airtime. So um, uh, very interesting little tool and very, you know, uh, very useful if you're trying to generate some audio very quickly. We also do traditional uh, podcasts on the site as well. Uh, but these were, you know, just a quick and dirty way to get students to use AI uh, to generate some uh, uh, audio uh, very, very quickly. And we also do kind of the more traditional podcasts uh, on a Red Line Project radio page. And uh, this is where students record them and uh, interview each other about their projects. And they have some source audio in here too. We put these up on uh, uh, on the web uh, and then also embed them in our uh, uh, stories uh, in, in this hosting page. So um, just so you know, we do more than uh, just AI generated audio uh, on the site. Uh, so we'll come back here and you see it's generated now, the audio. It takes a little while, uh, but you know, it's got the download button here. I can download it. I can play it right here, uh, or I can go in and uh, uh, adjust my playback speed, the download button. I can delete it out of here. Uh, once I play through it, and always play through it, please, before you ever, ever, ever uh, post any of this, I usually rate it thumbs up or thumbs down on how it did. So... Um, you know, this is uh, uh, this is Notebook LM. It'll do many, many different things. Um, you know, just uh, work off this right toolbar here. Uh, very simple interface, very intuitive. Um, and uh, do share with me uh, any uh, results that you have from the tool. Um, you can contact me off of journalisttoolbox.ai. That's journalist plural, toolbox.ai. Um, and down the right-hand side here, we have training videos and newsletter, uh, how to contact me on Twitter, Blue Sky, um, uh, all kinds of things, uh, you know, uh, report a broken link. You can email me there uh, as well. Um, so do reach out uh, and remember that news uh, or that uh, YouTube channel that we have uh, of 125 videos. Um, they're all free. You can subscribe to it for free and get updates whenever we add a new video. Uh, we just put like eight or nine new ones up uh, just in January 2025. Um, we also have a uh, really nice Substack newsletter that's free comes out every other Tuesday morning around 8 a.m. Uh, Eastern time. Uh, usually covers one topic. In this case, it was Sora and kind of a year-end review. Uh, since Sora came out in late 2024. Um, and then we've got some, you know, uh, training videos and uh, additional tools and things like that. About a five-minute read. Um, you can donate to, uh, to it if you want, but, uh, you know, it's entirely free. Um, so hope you enjoy Notebook LM and the Toolbox resources. Um, we'll see you on the next training video.